May I start? <coughs> okay, my name is Ivan Kromlev. I'm from Panama, but originally, originally from Russia. Right now I'm working for Oxford School, like private school in Panama. And I would like to tell you a little story how, how, how I became a programmer at school. Uh, I've been building websites, as, I guess as many of us, for, for years and using Joomla. And then uh, I started to build extensions and like building extension, building websites, I found uh, that I have to, I think I have to start over. There are some extensions I had to build which were, which were used on most of the websites I built, like uh, data man management system and YouTube gallery, maybe you're familiar with that. Uh, place an article, the extension, the plugin, so you can take one article and place it to another. So I had collections of extensions and I could uh, build websites, not in one week, but in, in one day, in three hours. Then uh, one day I had an offer to, uh, to build a school management system. And I thought, okay, using Joomla and uh, those collections of extensions I have, I probably, probably can, can make it. It, it can be possible. And uh, the main uh, extension I, I use for that is uh, extra search. It's loading. So, um, uh, school management management system is a, a collection of tables and relations between of them, a lot of reports and um, that's wrong. That's one. So uh, to build uh, something for students and teachers, uh, it will mostly require the database. And uh, it has hundreds of tables and, and layouts. So we have students and in, in, in teachers and coordinators, and all of them, they have different levels of access. And uh, they can see a certain uh, amount of information. And, and some of them, they allowed to post, another to read, another to publish and review. So uh, the core of the whole thing, it became this extra search thing. And uh, it, I have to show you a little bit. So it's, it's like, it has tables, fields, and layouts. Uh, MySQL itself is a great database, but it doesn't have uh, fields like uh, like email or maybe uh, as an image. It, you can just store data, but it, it does it doesn't uh, it doesn't have uh, like input elements. So uh, I don't know how to explain, I'll, but I'll try. Yeah, give me a moment. Let me just show in, in, maybe it will make sense. Okay, uh, we have tables. For example, this is st student table and it has uh, many, many different fields. Like, like that one, uh, email. But when you, when you create, okay, I have to start over. You create tables, you add fields, and then you create layout, how it's supposed to look on a website. And that, that extension, it, it forms the, the input box or it, it just takes the data from, from the database and it shows on a screen. But you have many different, uh, field types. I'll try to create one to show.
those are field times types like like strings text and integers and I think I have to show it like this. You, when you create ta tables and fields in the, in the layout on a website, it, it gives you it gives user a boxes so uh, they can they can fill they can fill it in. And it, as a web designer, you don't have to uh, write the code all over all over again. You just create a table with fields, and the form is ready. And um, Using that extension, I, I could uh, build uh, Just give me a, a little time. A bit nervous. Give me a second, okay? Yeah. I get lost. Easy going. Okay. Just okay. relax. Yeah. Um. So um. Now I need time. Can you just ask me some questions and maybe I will answer and and sure. I can continue. Uh, what is the thing which students use most with your system they use study guides and grading can you show that yes sure you can find some student and i show you a uh, student view So when students log in, I won't show you that part. Uh, when they log in, they, uh, when students, parents, teachers log in, they have their own dashboard and they can see tools and information that they they supposed to see. So for uh, for a student, most important would be study guides and lesson plans and grading. They can see what what teacher posts. And they can prepare for for the for the classes. Yes. They can uh, message uh, teachers. They can pay for school. Also. Yeah. Um, how do you separate the um, with the grades? Um, how are they um, stored, and how do you take care of that? Um, the personal data of the students is safe from other, um, how to say, um, other students, so that only staff and teachers can see this. How is the uh, user control? Oh, okay. Uh, <coughs> when students log in, uh, the extension knows the user ID, right? Yeah, sure. In uh, uh, in in the tables, um, I mean, like student table, <coughs> it has user ID field. So extension com compares those two fields, and, and if that record belongs to you, you can see that. If no, then no, it's, it just cool. blocks the, the whole... Could uh, you show us how this looks in the back end? Yes.
the Do we have internet problem? Uh, Speaker you, were, you were using the Jap uh, uh, yes. Wi-Fi or the hotel Wi-Fi? No Jap. Maybe you can get the speaker Wi-Fi. No, don't. Oh, okay. What if it's not? This is student table, and it has a user field, which stores the ID, like the Joomla account ID. Mm -hmm. And uh, when when you open a like detail page, like to show student details, it can compare this ID with, with the user ID, and, and and it shows only that. But also, like, uh, in in a, as an example, parents, one parent may have m many children. And uh, in student account, you have, uh, no, in parent account, you have st student IDs. In student, in student account, you, you have user ID. So it, there is a link. Uh, you, can, you can actually check uh, through a through couple tables who belongs to, to who. Like, uh, so it can, it can see that student belongs to parent. And, if you if you go to dashboard and you try to change ID, it, it won't let you uh, see other student account. And uh, question about uh, grades, how they store. There is a, another table with grades, and they they collect it to assessments in in student and teacher uh, accounts. But also when 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 okay when. When teacher grades students, actually, <coughs> this way they when they grade them, every time they save a grade, it, it saves a new record, but it keeps the previous record uh, stored but unpublished. So uh, in, in any moment, coordinators can can go in and undo what uh, what teachers did, and see if. And when uh, when teacher posted a grade, yeah. Um, also here here in Germany uh, we have grades every half year. So, um, is this a continual process, or can you also go back half a year to see where? We have a limitation. Uh, I mean, uh, by the law in in Panama. Uh, when you create assessment, you have to grade in eight days, mm. and uh, teachers uh, cannot change grades uh, like previous term grades. But during during the term, they can they can create assessment and as many assessment as needed. But uh, there are uh, settings and minimum number of assessments they have to create. Okay. Um... In the back end, can you see the different assessments so that you actually can see if you improved or not over a year, uh, say five years, four years? No, uh, there is no back end for teachers and, and students. Uh, but uh, teachers can see report cards. In, in the, in, in Could you show me the report card? Yeah. Maybe, maybe this would um, answer my question. <clears throat> I have to show previous year report card. Like that. If if you will fail, there will be like red line that you failed such a subject. Mm -hmm. I need to hide the name, sorry. Um that uh Thing extra search and in the, the the whole C CMS is um, it has layouts and and you can create whatever reports in HTML and uh, you can get data from from the tables. I show you how how those layouts look. Oh, that's cool! Yeah.
okay, like that. This is student details page, and uh, it, it has like built-in uh, language. If you can, you can see, uh, for example, this. Mm -hmm. it, uh, it, it works in form of like plugins. It replaces the one value with the value from, from the table. And it also has if statements, so um, you, like, you can have three different languages. It's HTML, JavaScript, <coughs> and uh, this scripting language, which comes with extra search. Uh, when I'm talking so much about this extra search extension is because uh, I could I, I could create different reports in different pages very easily. I don't have to uh, write uh, new code just to access database and get something out of it. How do you get the um, uh, database tags or values? Okay. So, value class, for example, uh, um, where would you look it up if you do not know that it is value class? There is a little wizard, and uh, if you when you uh, create a new new layout, and you don't know those names, uh, those fields, you can click here. And it creates for you. Then you uh, you may just delete them. Ah, so, you so so you got it once. Yeah, and oh, uh, yeah. I have a student details page for coordinators, student details for for parents, and that page has a different amount of fields. Yeah, can you also um, um, these? Presets, can you also enter them? Because normally I would not use any center tag or something like this. No, no of course, you can uh, You can just uh, take the name of fields from here and write your own HTML code and, and it will look the way you want. Okay, and is there uh, uh, also uh, the pos uh, possibility to, to write the, um, the basic setup? If, if I wanted to, to change it a little bit differently? Yeah, this this was a basic setup, uh, and and then you can you can change. Uh, there are two views, like a ta no, there is a table view, detail view, and an edit form. Okay. I show, I show you edit form. For example, I'm trying to create a edit form. Also, there is an email form, uh, the way how, how uh, parents receive messages. Or It, it just uh, builds a table and a field name and a field value. So, uh, for example, the, this uh, grade, it will be take, uh, the field name will be taken from the database. And also you, you may have uh, like different, uh, those field names in different languages uh, for multilingual websites. And single layout will work in different languages. But uh, this thing, like, uh, in square braces, that will be the value of the table. Okay, let, let's better talk about uh, actual uh, CMS. It has uh, grading, study guides, report cards, uh, calendar, uh, timetable, maybe timetable is the most interesting thing. <coughs> OK. 
Okay, uh, I, I started to build this timetable in, in PHP but, uh, based on this extra search extension because I needed a lot of data and I didn't want to spend time uh, for extra script. And then uh, it started to work, all good. But uh, when I wanted to find all the overlaps and or clutches like that, um, in PHP it was too, too long. This server was very overloaded. So I rewrote the whole thing in, in JavaScript, and uh, now when uh, when uh, the schedule manager want, wants to uh, wants to change uh, some, some blocks, uh, the the client computer, his computer, my computer checks all the overlaps and, and uh, gives the re response if if solution can be found or or not. Or if if it can be found, it, it tells you um, what you have to do to make those changes. It's pretty full. No. Could you uh, um, switch it up biology uh, um, in, into the higher column the previous time? Would that work? Yeah. Here. Mm -hmm. Oh, because it's a streaming group. Okay. I yeah. know that uh, there is a streaming group. I'll show you uh, print view. Like that, we 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 use those streaming groups very often uh, because the uh, students have different level of math or in, or English and uh, they 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 being taught accordingly. And for example, math they also have extended and core classes. So there in Panama, we, we use the streaming groups a lot. It's like uh, students being taken uh, like from uh, Student being taken from one class and another, and they, they form a different group just for for this subject. Okay. So um, so I built that uh, CMS uh, system, and it worked in one school. Then uh, we we have more schools, uh, or like four four different schools in in Panama, and uh, it became very difficult to update them to to update the, the software. So I decided to break it to extensions. I made a little uh, core extension for to keep students, parents in, in um, these like basic data rooms, buildings, and in uh, uh, other extensions like uh, grading, timetable. So those things can be installed separately, and that that idea uh, works uh, because different schools they can. Uh, assemble their own uh, school system based on uh, on their needs not not all of them need uh, the whole package they they may need the just few and so they can construct it the way they want and yep no, 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 no. and using layouts they can change the the, the way uh, report cards looks uh, because dif uh, in different cities they have different Little different different format of, of the report card. How much is the uh, uh, data separated? For example, one student drops out, mm -hmm. and um, can you delete just the data from that student? Uh, you can you can delete student account. Yeah. You, you can, but what we do, we unpublish it. And it's just not visible to anybody. Yes, okay. I'm just asking here with new uh, privacy guidance, guidelines, you would have to be able to actually delete it. You can delete a student account, but his grades uh, will stay there anyway. And, okay. But they're not linked, and you cannot find who oh, those oh, grades okay. are. So for privacy, yes, you can, uh, you can, de you can delete whatever you want. And uh, there is one more thing, like, uh, for example, student accounts or, or study guides or whatever, uh, 
they are stored in form of records. But also there is another uh, field type, like a log. So when, when you make changes in any record, it saves previous, uh, previous version of the, the whole record in, in JSON and in, in, in compressed. So, um, so the students, they, they may change phone numbers, they may change addresses, but you as administrator or a coordinator, you can go back in time and see uh, how it was before and who made those changes, receptionist or accounting department. And um, if we talk about study guides, this, this teacher is also important because, uh, because teachers make, uh, like, they may make changes in the study guide and, and save it and realize that it, it, it was done by mistake, but they can go back and see uh, like what it was, like undo thing. And this works in, in every table. Uh, uh, lesson plan, study guides, student accounts, teacher accounts, list of subjects in, in every table. And um, that's extra search extension. I, I would like to give it for free for community. And I, I want uh, that all of us will benefit in, of it so we can create websites, uh, catalog websites much faster than than just building them from scratch using or uh, creating new components for that. And I have, I have some documentation of it, uh, but it's not com complete. It, it explains basic things, but it, it doesn't show so many examples. This is it. You can download it for free and, and use it. In, and if somebody will have time to uh, add, add more descriptions, add more uh, examples, just all of us will benefit. So uh, the school system, school management system is not for free, but that thing, uh, the, the main, the core thing, which, which let me create the uh, school CMS, is for free in and it's huge. Yep. yep. It looks like a it looks like a, like a really cool project. No, Thank you very much. In, in I was wondering how long it took you to develop it because uh, this extra search I started five five years ago. Yeah. Yeah. School. In school three it took three years to, to build. In, any questions? It's also for Yuma free. It, it only says Yuma 3.5. I have to update it. Okay. I, it works for, for Joomla 3, of course. At the bottom, it yes, of course. <laughs> and I, I have to update all those extensions uh, and upload them to, to Jed again. I've been working with uh, school SMS and I didn't have time for, for, Joom, for Joomla extensions. like. Like those, maybe you know, YouTube gallery in category block. Yep. I have to update them. No, this is this is new. Like little effect. Yes. I'm sorry, I have a question. Um, for if an, if other schools uh, wanted to use the uh, school management system, is that something that would be possible? Yes, th this is the whole idea. I would like to share it, but it, it's not going to be free. No, no, and can, can you show um, the different um, extra modules for grading timetables? Has a uh, core component. Uh, oh, attendance. Yes, attendance is very, very useful thing in 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 the usage on daily basis. They they supposed to use it. <laughs> um, 
I need to find some teacher to, to show me. This is teacher view. She has other tools like her messages, attendance, calendar, grading. Homeroom is where they can, where she can see the list of her students. Those are her students, and and she can message them. She can uh, uh, like detentions. No, discipline. Ah, she can post some reviews uh, according to discipline. Okay. Let's go back to attendance. It's like a calendar, and uh, they click on a day and, and select like all on time, somebody late, somebody absent. Okay, and do they do this uh, with the tablet right in school, or how do they? Uh, no, they can use, they have to use website. We don't have application yet for that. But this is a very good question because uh, and attendance is something they, they can do no, no matter what, if, inter if there is internet or not. So uh, I, I will have to build a little application, like a mobile application for, for attendance purpose in the beginning. But then there will be grading and so on. And again, like building application uh, for, mo for mobiles will be easy because uh, having this extra search you, I can provide uh, here in, in a qu query, I can provide the format I want the data to uh, be presented. For example, this is a, a okay, this is a form, but when you have a, a list of students, for example, and you can set a format uh, in JSON, format in Excel. So uh, <coughs> you won't have this uh, HTML version, you will have actual Excel file. And uh, talking about J JSON, you can get the, the data uh, like an API. API. So uh, uh, your application can communicate with Joomla website and get just only necessary data, not, not the whole uh, layout <coughs> like that. Any more questions? I saw something with the uh, lingual. Multilingual. Now this website is in, in one language only, but I, I show you how it's done in the back end. No, they, they speak different languages, but uh, at, at school we, uh, we use English only. English? Yes. Okay. And um, oh, no. Joomla itself has uh, multilingual, <laughs> multilingual support. And uh, when, you, when you create tables using extra search and, and you create uh, fields, there is a name of the field, but also titles. And those titles, they're in, in different languages. So you like a student name, then uh, nombre de estudiante, email estudiante, in, in different languages. And um, when uh, end users switch language on, on a front end, the, the, those tables, those fields, they also switch. The, uh, the name of the fields, uh, they've been shown in, in the language uh, user selected. It, it means that you don't have to create different layouts for different languages. You, you just have the same field, but in different, in different languages, like a title of the field.
here it's a field name which will be uh, used uh, in layout in title how it will look for for users so it can be in any language you install to Joomla also it has the other types of fields like uh, image gallery or or file in uh, for example for example, image, uh, uh, you, can l you can upload uh, photos of the students, but also it has like uh, compare tools to compare if the similar photo already uploaded. It's like it, it compares vis visual photos. Not really useful in, in school. Okay, I, I would like to tell you a little bit about the, the plan for that uh, system. Uh, maybe in next uh, few weeks, uh, uh, I will upload it to, uh, to JED to wait for approval and, and everybody can, can get access to that. Cool. I think that's it. If you have more questions, I would like to answer. Um, uh, like the school clients in the UK, um, is there, would it be possible, is there a feature you thought of for having an encryption of data at rest in uh, SQL Encryption? It's, you know, within the UK school sector, it's a requirement um, for uh, child so protection for children's so personal identifiers. You mean when you export data? So when you would like to export something in Excel, you would like to have it encrypted? Oh, no, no, it's more so uh, from when the data is written from the, from the PHP to the database and read from the database to encrypt. No, I, I don't encrypt. So to be, to be able to use it in the European Union, we need to uh, store all the data from the children below 16 at rest. Yeah. So and we need to have consent from the parents to even store it. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, can can you uh, encrypt your database, like database itself? Yeah, please, please, So if you can uh, encrypt your database, th then yes, but the uh, uh, extension itself doesn't encrypt anything. It, it reads whatever it is in safe as it is. Yeah, so just as a uh, background, in the UK, uh, most schools use a system called um, SIMS, which is like a, it's like a school management system that runs uh, on a um, um, Windows server like in the school. Like mm -hmm. It's a terrible system. It's about Ten years old, it's been developed by it's mainly developed by a company called Kafka, which is a large IT consultancy in the UK. But um, the schools hate it, and it's really expensive, and it's not reliable at all, uh, and it's really difficult to maintain. So this would be really popular in the UK. I really hope, and uh, thanks thanks to Joomla, uh, and uh, you don't have to have like special programmers to support this project. You can you can have Joomla, then you extend it with extensions, and uh, they are uh, in GPL. You, so you can you can modify themselves at your school, and, and there are millions of Joomla programmers, right? So uh, it it will be easier to maintain uh, uh, this SMS th than something made for Windows and completely closed. Definitely. You mentioned it. So uh, I really would like to 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 see it outside of Panama, and hopefully it, it will work. And thank you very much for for coming and listening to my unstructural speech. Thank you. <laughs>